All right. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my latest stream. I'm going to be playing through Silent Hill 4 The Room. I have not <laughs> played through this in quite a while, but um, <laughs> hopefully I won't die too much. Hi, Speedball. Welcome. Yes, the, the intro is very cool. I actually, I, I really love the, um, the soundtrack to this game. Can't say the same for the uh, gameplay, but um, it does have a really good story. Hi, welcome. Welcome. I, uh, again, I just want to re re reiterate that I am streaming for uh, Extra Life right now. I'm trying to raise at least $1,000 this whole year to give to the kids at uh, SF Benio Children's Hospital. Um, I typically don't stream, but I figured it's a good cause, so I'm going to be streaming different games throughout the year. And right now, I'm pretty much doing Silent Hill, so it's at least something I, I, I know pretty well. Uh, but yeah! Oh, thank you so much! Wow, I'm getting, like, so many new people. <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Okay. So... I am playing the uh, PS2 version through emulation. Okay, so new game. Yeah. So if you guys can't donate or anything, even if you just share, that would be great too. Um, it was two years ago that Henry Townsend moved into room 302 of South Ashfield Heights. An apartment building in the medium-sized city of Asheville, Henry is happy and enjoying his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a recurring dream each night. Oh, it was too fast. He couldn't leave room 302. Oh, that's too bad. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Well, your apartment looks pretty gross, Henry. I hate to say it. I'm guessing it's not supposed to look like this. Ah! Well, that didn't sound good. <laughs> I know, right? It's covered in blood and rust. As apartment artwork should be. This is my room, but what the hell happened to it? <laughs> I did play this uh, when it released back in 2004. Is it really my room? Um, I was so excited because Silent Hill 3 had just come out like the year before and I was so looking forward to it and I was disappointed <laughs> to say the least. I mean, the game has a really good story and really great soundtrack. I just really did not enjoy the uh, redoing levels. <laughs> it's not fun. But there's always something good about all these games. I usually find something good. It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy. My head hurts. I thought it was really cool when uh, Downpour added uh, Henry's apartment as an Easter egg in the game. Well, let's open it, let's see what's inside. Yeah, it did have a lot of good ideas. I really liked the um, whole undead serial killer angle. I thought it was really cool. I mean, I think out of all the games, I think this one probably has the most creepiest story. But the gameplay is not so good. 
Hey, you thought you moved it so you could spy on your This is big. <laughs> it's pretty tiny uh, in 2019 standards. Oh, oh, you thought you had a record player here? You're one of those people, aren't you? Oh, you can't? Okay, I will turn it down. Just give me a second. Is it still too loud? Okay, I, I just moved the microphone really close to my face, so hopefully that's better. Because <laughs> I, I did turn down the game volume. But you know what? Maybe I could do it through the... Here, we'll do it through the... Oh, shit. Shit. No, English. Keep that on. Let me put this down a little bit. Sorry, I, I, I typically I don't talk that loud, so um, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. So, exit. So if you can't hear me, let me know. I will, I will do my best. <laughs> okay, so... I think I just want, oh, there we go. I really hope I don't get lost because it's been, it's been so long. <laughs> wow, I think this is probably the most viewers I've ever had. Thank you so much for joining me. I think it was probably due to Voidbreaker uh, retweeting me, so thanks to her. Hi, Fred Fraud! I just started, so... Well, that's not good. Oh, now it's time for the awesome opening. Hi, Rev Ralph. <laughs> I'm seeing some familiar faces from t uh, Twitter. Thank you for joining me for my live stream. I love this song. <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing so many familiar faces. This is great. I think this is probably the most uh, activity my chat's had since I did the uh, charity stream back in December. Oh, false fire alarm. Yikes. Did someone pull it or... Or just go off because someone's cooking was smoky? What a 
dream. Sorry, uh, I have two dogs. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's very special, like, what the hell? Actually, I mean, Henry is really the only one I'm kind of, like, iffy about. I think everyone else does a pretty good job. Spooky. Maybe it's Cheryl calling. I don't know about you, but I'd be kind of freaking out that the phone rang if the cords cut. So I'm not really a big fan of the first person view because uh, for me, I, I get sick in that view. Oh, I can't really call anything right now. Um, but I do appreciate that, you know, this game was trying something new. This is my bed, obviously. What I didn't like, though, <laughs> was the limited inventory space. <laughs> Integrating weapons. Lake House. Lake and Silent Hill. Feels a bit... Feels a little bit lonely for a tourist town, but it's a nice place to relax and heal your soul. Hmm, you, you could say that. It's a little dangerous, though. Oh, what did they throw in the trash chute? Right, are you going to walk down the stairs yet, Cynthia? There we go. I do really love how um, detailed it is when you look out this window. You can see his neighbors kind of just going about their day, you know, just staring out the windows and whatnot. Oh, wait. That guy is just sort of jamming, going to a circle. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, really? You were quiet, like, for... <laughs> Sorry, they must see someone outside. Okay. York? York! Come on. Uh, I'm sorry, give me one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Oh man, it figures like right when I start streaming, they decide that everything outside needs to be barked at. <laughs> uh. Henry sounds like a massive stoner, which explains why he's not free. You know, that does explain a lot. Does it have a lot of flashing lights? Um, not really. Um, I think the only part that I can remember that does is maybe when I go through the hole in the bathroom but it's more like static stuff um, 
But yeah, this is actually a pretty dark game, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Okay. Oh man, Henry, Henry, this bathroom is pretty dang gross. But I guess it's pretty typical for, you know, a dude, <laughs> a bachelor, but yuck. Well, we do get a little bit of a, um, a ghost popping up in the loading screens. Sometimes. Oh. Nothing to do. You don't need to pee? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, honestly, I haven't played this game in years, but I'm pretty sure there isn't a lot of flashing lights. Just, uh, maybe when I go through the hole. Well, that sucks. Excuse me. Five days ago, when I first had the nightmare. I haven't been able to get out of my room since then. The phone doesn't work. The TV doesn't work. I can't... Oh, well, I just read that too slowly. My whole world has suddenly turned insane. The door is chained up. The window is sealed shut. And on top of that, someone's changed the door from the inside. How am I going to get out of here? York, I swear to God. <laughs> don't go out. Go, don't go out, Walter. What the hell's Walter? What the hell? What's going on here? And if there's one thing this game made me do a lot, was uh, start singing Come On Eileen to myself. I hope my look changes before the party. Uh, it won't, Eileen. Did you not notice the children hand- the handprints on the wall? <sighs> but I do gotta say, this game still looks pretty damn good. We're coming out in 2004. <laughs> yeah, Eileen and Henry are going to have a very bad day. Mom, why doesn't you wake up? Well, um, I'm sorry, but I am not your mother. You know, I, I know this is like the normal world, but his apartment still looks really dingy. <laughs> and that's not a really good side. What do we got in here? We got... Dude, pick it, pick it up. There's chocolate milk here. No, I'll wait to... Take that. After the in-depth in -depth Silent Hill series, um, I, I don't know. I, I probably will. Um, I have a feeling people want me to move on to Silent Hill 2. But I'm, I haven't actually decided yet. Yeah, I would. I would like to play that game, except it's not complete. <laughs> you have a you have a portrait of Eileen. Really? I'd love to see a picture of that. Please take a picture and, and uh, uh, tweet it at me. Hi. Hi, Vincent. Uh, yeah, I really want to play the Mazurna Falls. Um, that game looks really fun to play. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Well, I seem to have a lot of new people in my chat room, but I, I'm a big fan of Deadly Premonition as well. And uh, I had finished an in-depth Let's Play of that one a couple months ago. And Mazurna Falls looks pretty similar. So I'm very excited to play that one once it's fully translated.
The missing? Yes, I have. I am um, a big fan of Swery. I even uh, contributed to his um, The Good Life campaign. I am very excited for that one as well. Um, I could play through The Missing if you guys would like to see me play through that. Through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world and exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is within yet without the Lord's world. Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world in extreme flux, unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures, a world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? This part of the book is too damaged to read. It is important to travel lightly in that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. The book is too damaged to read anymore. Well, that's kind of creepy. An Excuse me. Um, another thing I really, really liked about this game is how it played with the player expectations. So right now our... Yes, I know that's the item box. Um, right now, this is a... Okay. Um, I have to go to my bathroom. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know. Okay. Right now, the apartment is pretty safe, but as the game goes on, it will not be as such. And it will not be our safe space anymore, which I thought was really cool. I got this photo from Frank Sunderland, the superhero at South Ashfield Heights. Sunderland, that name should sound familiar. That is totally James's dad from uh, Silent Hill 2. I don't think I checked in the laundry room. Why do you have a, a tank filled with oil in your laundry room? That's really weird. Nothing interesting. Okay. Alright, let's go let's go check out the bathroom because that's when shit starts to go on. Well, that wasn't there earlier. What the hell? <laughs> somebody in there? I don't know. Let's find out. I wonder if I can go this way. Yeah, uh, th uh, that's what I was saying. Um, the whole going through the hole is pretty much the only time I can think of where there's kind of a strobe effect. So you might want to um, close your eyes. So, yeah, yeah, steel pipe. Yes. I mean, I guess if I was trapped in my apartment for this long, I'd probably go through the hole, but in general, I don't think I would. <laughs> you know what this game did really well? Was the trailer for the game. I thought it was so creepy and so just cool. It made me really excited to play the game. So if you guys have not checked out the trailer for Son Hell the Room, it makes it look really cool. Okay. It's okay, now it's safe to open your eyes. Well, it his refrigerator was pretty empty, so I think he cleaned it out. 
It's been a couple days. Oh, you never played Sun Hill 4? It is it is a very interesting game. Yeah. Um it does have its faults. I, I'm not a fan of some of its uh, level designs, but it's still very interesting. And also Henry is kind of, um, he, he's a man of a few words. And when he does speak, he's very monotone. Okay, let me see if I can get the controls. Nope. Okay, are you getting- there we go. Sorry, I gotta figure out what my- Okay. So the controls are actually a little bit different than three. I have to push that button to run? Was the whole intentional and Walter needed Henry for something, or was it just lucky coincidence for Henry? There was something about the receiver with Um I believe it was intentional because he is the receiver of wisdom. So I think he's supposed to witness uh this stuff. So when it's his time, he's fulfilled that role, you know? Um Again, I haven't really looked into this game as much as I have uh, in some of the other ones. If I do do a let's play of this, I will of course do more research, but I believe it was imperative that he witness some of the killings. Yeah, I keep pushing that button and that's not run. Who are you? What's your name? I can see your bra. Henry, and you? <laughs> this is my dream, and you don't even know my name. It's Cynthia. Your dream. That's right. <laughs> this is just a dream. And a really terrible one, too. I hope I wake up soon. So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Anyway, I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. Just go up the escalator behind me? Say, will you help me find it? I'm kind of scared all alone here. I'll do a special favor for you later. It's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. By favor, what do you mean? <laughs> so, fun fact, um, the voice actress for Cynthia is actually one of my um, the favorite voice actresses from anime. She voiced Lena Inverse from the Slayers anime series for the English dub, and around this time i mean i was super into slayers so i was so excited to hear her voice for cynthia she didn't have a um a latina accent in slayers but i was still able to recognize her voice so i was super excited at the time okay that is not the run button why why did they change can i fix this to let's see can i change the uh, button config. Well, that doesn't help me. That is in Japanese. <laughs> okay, I will just figure it out. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh. Come on, guys. Why are you in Japanese now? What did I do? Okay, hold on. Oh, that's why. Okay. It's very sensitive. 
things are very sensitive in this. Like, I didn't... No, I don't want... I want that off. So let me go back to button config. Can I change this so the... Oh, I can't change it. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'll just have to get used to it. I'm used to the run button being a different button. I know, right? <laughs> Him and Gus are not liking someone outside my house. So again, I'm, I'm really sorry about the dogs barking. They're usually quieter than this. I think I'm gonna puke. That's not good. Go take care of that. I'll, I'll just wait out here. You take your time. Do you repeat your pants at this point? It's because of the dogs. Yeah, I keep wanting to to press um, a different button to run <laughs> because it was that was the run button in Silent Hill One and Three, but it's different here. Oh, I heard my um, thing go off. Did I? get a donation? I can't see my... Okay. Oh, there's dogs. Cynthia, there's dogs outside. C can you come out? Oh, shit. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, close your eyes whenever I go hit the hole. Oh, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Oh, hold on, I gotta open my, my uh, donations tab. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. GCV, I don't know. I'll just say what? GCV. Thank you so much. And thank you for following me on Twitter, by the way, and sharing my Let's Play. I really appreciated it. It seems so real. Or could it be? Was I really inside that woman's dream? Ah, oh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? Okay, back in the apartment. I guess I should take this time to save, because I'll probably die. So another thing that Silent Hill 4 did differently from the other games is there's one safe spot, and it's here in the apartment, which eventually tries to kill you. So it's pretty difficult <laughs> later on in the game. I do like the little um, 
Akira's sound work here with the little uh, talking and whatnot through the hole. It's really creepy. It's like it makes me not want to go in there. Yes, I want to enter the hole. Yeah. Though, um, I saw, was it today or, or yesterday? I saw that Akira was tweeting about Silent Hill 4. He said he didn't have that much to do with it, which I found surprising. I guess he just sort of came in last minute to do the sound design, but he wasn't heavily involved. Can I sneak by these guys? Maybe I can. Woo! Can't get me! Don't! I like that they cannot follow me because <laughs> there was a room uh, cut off. Okay. I gotta say, after Sun Hill 3, I'm not a big fan of subways. Because I got lost. Ooh. Please don't eat me. I said don't eat me. Oh man. Okay. What do I need to... Are there dogs everywhere? What the hell is that? Okay, okay, that's how I hit. Okay. Ugh. Weird how the dogs sound like cats, like pumas or something. Can't go on a normal subway and not think about Silent Hill, I know, right? <laughs> what is this? Is this. Oh, I know what it is, okay. What's oh, blocked? Okay. Guess I went the wrong. That's not the run button, Whitney. Ooh, can I go this way? Ooh, doggy, leave me alone. Ooh, I'll take that. No, no. Oh, and this is also pretty new. Uh, shit. Um, when I hold the button, it's the more powerful hit. But in this game, you can actually see that um, thing fill up in the corner. Where'd it go? Yeah. Shit. So you know when you're going to hit at full strength? Yeah. Wow, I suck at this. Sorry. I think it's this view. Speed player of this game, I am not. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I don't want to die. So just quick hits. Quick hits. Alright. Oh man, I'm already dying. This is this is not boating well. Same sound your college mascot makes? <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Paper Mancer, for the six. <laughs> Six dollars and sixty-six cents uh, donation. I really appreciate it. Oh, this is, damn it, it's blocked. I lost all that life for nothing. Yeah, I'll take the pistol bullets. Okay. Oh, 
Uh, did I go the wrong way? Where am I supposed to go? Um... Ah! Leave me alone! Oh, I think I have to go back to the bathroom. Uh, doesn't she give a token or something? No, leave me alone. Oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I went this way. A health drink. You know, it could be about about agoraphobia. I could see that. You know. Yeah, I know you need a coin. Where the hell is? Um, do I have to go in the men's room? She, she wasn't there. Ugh. Why are there dogs everywhere? Did I not do something in my apartment that I was supposed to do? Okay, let me go back. Maybe I was supposed to look at something. I'm not sure if I should try to get out my strategy guide. Because I hate not not knowing what I need to do. Okay. Oh, there's Robbie. Bars off the field. You know, I'll write that down so I could try to call it later. Five 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 three seven five oh. Yeah, I know you like you have to do things in a certain order, and if you don't, the game's like nope. Ooh, you know, I forgot to check that. Let's check the radio. I forgot about that aspect of the game. Nope. I think she has to, um, 
have her accident before I can hear anything new that way. Um... How do I... No? I guess I can't see my health here? Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to save just in case. Alrighty, let's go back. Maybe I can get the coin now. Like, I have vague memories of kind of what I need to do, but <laughs> I need to remember what order to do them in. Oh, I can skip that. Okay, good. Okie dokie. Dang it, she's still not there. What am I doing wrong? Um, okay. Maybe I just didn't explore far enough? Maybe I have to go back over here. I'm kind of, really? I'm kind of kicking myself for not, for not, uh, trying to play this a little bit before I started streaming. Check to see if the cabinet moved. Oh! Yes! I gotta see the, um, Eileen's hole. Okay, okay, okay. I, I will do that. Let's go back and see if it moved. Oh my god, where, where did you come from? Ah! Leave me alone! Stop it, bad dogs. Wow, I suck it wielding this. I was much better at dealing with the dogs in uh, Silent Hill 1. <laughs> Let me just say that. I'm not happy to see them. They're not, they're not my best friend right now. They're hurting me, but at least my apartment will heal me up. Yes. Ugh. That was another thing about this game. I, I, I was a little bit eh about when I was playing it was the whole spying on Eileen to the people. I was just like, I eh, don't want to do that. All right. All right, let's go. Huh? That's weird. Somebody moved it. Yes. Oh, there's a gun there too. There's a message carved here. It looks like they used an ice pick or something. The faint hope I had is solely changing to despair. I have somehow managed to tunnel this far, but no matter what I do, I can't get any farther. The hallway, the windows, the walls. It feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. Eileen never noticed. Well... I see this gun. Thank you. I will take that. Okay.
So apparently that, that's what I needed to do was uh, check on Eileen. So thank you very much for that tip. I would have gone crazy like, what the hell am I missing? Hmm. Where did I put that damn broom? Oh. It's right here. I really like your Robbie doll. Mm, I can't look any further, can I? Okay. All right. Oh. Hello. There's one here. Okay, good to know. Well, I'm going to save. Because I'm really paranoid I'm going to die. I'm not used to the controls yet. Is that Eileen outside of my door? Oh, she is. Why, why are you sweeping outside my apartment, Eileen? Thank you. I like Eileen too. I really like that um, she will attack monsters with a purse and stuff. I just wish that she would... Uh... Wait, did I save? Okay. I just wish that she will not attack them when I don't want her to. But unlike other escort missions, I like that she tries to do her part in taking down the monsters we encounter. Alright, let's get the token. Oh, whoops. Yes. Oh, let's skip that. Yes, it is really cool that apartment uh, appears in Downpour. I was really excited about that Easter egg when I found it. I was like, it was, it was uh, Murphy who stole the chocolate milk. Some kind of mannequin. It's got a coin in its hand. That is a weird looking mannequin. Did I, did I pick it up? Oh. Yes. Mint Street. Mine coin. Okay. Can we use it any number of times? All right. So, Cynthia, um, are you okay? No? Okay. All right, now we can continue on through the subway and get attacked by dogs. I would like to do a let's play of downpour. Though it might be kind of difficult considering it's on the X shit. On the Xbox. Um but not undoable. I don't I don't think I could stream it because it's on my Xbox and I can only really play and stream if it's on my computer. It's okay, this is Nope, wrong button. Lynch Street. <laughs> Wait. Oh. You won't use it automatically? Okay. Yeah, I know. I... Mm. What 
what am I doing wrong? There. Oh my god. That's the door I need to go through. This is embarrassing. Um, no, that's not the button. Oh, I have to feed the turnstile? Okay. Oops. No. Am I not hitting the right button? Can't use this here. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's very uh, particular about which way you're facing. You'd think you'd have to face the little slot where you put the coin, but no. Oh, what's kind of, um, fun? Ah! Ghost! Um, the ghosts are not fun. Uh, one of the promo items for this... York! One of the pro promo items for this game was a shirt with a ghost coming out of the wall, and the ghost was of James Sunderland. So that was, that was kind of neat. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um I hate the ghosts so much. Oh, it's a light. Um Okay, I guess I have to push a button. Yeah, 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 I'm coming, Cynthia. Eighteen. Excuse me. Uh, no, it's it's not the same subway. Excuse me. Um. At least I don't think it is. I don't believe Heather and Henry lived in Ashfield. Okay, what am I missing here? The door isn't open. Okay, maybe I have to do something upstairs. Yeah, I'm I'm coming, Cynthia. Give me a sec. Oh shit. Oh. oh. These ghosts, I hate them so much. Uh, 
Oh, well, no, I don't want to leave this area. Okay, there must be something I can do to open up the door. You know what? You can just, like, leave me alone. That'd be great. Okay, how do I get to that other side? Hmm. Oh, oh, I'm really dying here. Maybe there's another staircase I just missed. Yeah, 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 okay. Are you fucking kidding me? I just didn't hit the right button when I looked at the door. Oh god, that is, that is embarrassing. you doing? Is there stuff on the train? Ah, oh, the ghost. Ah! Oh, leave me alone! No! What are you doing to me? No. Okay, okay, okay. Can't let this old lady ghost kill me. Okay, let's let's uh leave. Of course not. Alright. There's a toy box here. It has a thousand written on it. It's locked and I can't open it. Well, this is not helping. Why does it sound so squishy in here? Oh, wait. There's an open door over here. I go this way. Oh, ghost. So I probably have to go... Okay.
Yeah, it sounds like it. Ugh. Squishy. If I die because of this ghost, I'm gonna be very mad. <laughs> Leave me alone! Okay, I am going the wrong way, obviously. Okay. I'm going up, yet I look like I'm going down. seen that one car yet. You know, ladies... What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Seriously. Okay, there's no entrance there. Can't go out that way. Hitting the right button? No. Okay. I think I'm making progress. All right, I'm in a new place. Okay, okay. Ugh, oh, stupid ghosts. Leave me alone! I just want to make it back to the save point so I can heal up. Sorry that it took me so long to figure out- Oh, it's blocked. I kept thinking I had to go up instead of down, uh, but apparently the map was backwards. Alrighty. Let's make a dash for it. Henry kind of runs a little bit funny. Oh, thank goodness, there's a hole. <laughs> what, you didn't follow me into this room? Well, sucks to be her. Okay, enter the hole. We're gonna skip that. Awesome. Let's save my game. Actually, I should probably let him heal all the way before I save it. 
So how's everyone doing tonight? Are you having a good Saturday? No, don't want to save yet. Okay, close enough. I can save. Oh, what are you crocheting? Alright, let's go back to the subway. Hopefully I will not die. Can't promise the same for Cynthia, but... Oh, that's nice. Are you making for yourself or for someone else? Yes. Oh, that's very that's a very nice gift. I do not know how to crochet or sew or anything like that, so stuff like that I think is makes awesome gifts. Really I can't I can't get a moment away from these ghosts. I'm starting to remember why I didn't really like this game. <laughs> the unkillable ghosts. Wait. Wait. What? The ammo doesn't stack? Oh no, I forgot about this. Ah. <sighs> Another one of the weird quirks that they decided to do for this game. Wait. Wait, I'm back here. Um. Hmm. Did I miss something? Here, hold on. Oh. Ah. Uh. Where the frick did you go? I'm coming! I'm coming! But I want to see if there's items. What? Who's coming? Kind of dealing with some dogs right now. Well, it looks like there's some chips and some candy. Oh, it's a hole again. Okay. Oops. Oh, wait. I remember these guys.
Oh, he they knocked really far. Okay. Oh, I thought I was by him. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yes, York, I am doing terribly. I'm I'm sorry. Really? I can't run by them? I hate these guys. <gasps> if I die, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Oh no! Can I hit them? Yes, Henry! Oh my god, he's about to die! <laughs> Maybe I should have saved it that hole. I didn't think I would die! Oh no! Oh no! This is terrible! Oh! No! I'm so close! No! Oh! I did advertise that I'm probably going to die a lot, so you guys knew what you were in for. All right, continue. All righty, so... Yeah, go down the ladder. I'm coming. Henry, I found to the first side. I'm coming. Hurry. Hurry. Oh, maybe I should have gone up the other way. Well, considering that I keep falling on my butt. I should probably go up the up up escalator because at least I'll still be moving up when I fall down. Oh, I didn't notice this before. Yes, I will take the nutrition drink. Oh. Is there anything else back here? Oh no, that's that's the way it came. You know what? To be safe, let me just save. Thanks.
thanks for putting me right next to the dog. That was really nice. Alright, maybe if I bum rush it, I can just, like, try not to overthink it, and I can just run by these guys. Or not. Okay. Can I kill them? I can't remember. Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, I faced the wrong direction, but that still worked. Okay, I will take it. So what do these wall guys represent, huh? Got this now. Woohoo! I made it. It would have really sucked if the like a dog just came out of nowhere and just bit my face while I was celebrating. Oh, I think I'm oh, I am on the other side. All right. Oh, wait, I didn't pick it up. Is she your lust for walls? There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I do not like this. That is a lot of girl stuff on the ground. There's a plate on the door. Remove the plate. Yes, I guess. Temptation place card. Placard. Why did I say place? Placard. Okay. Well, you know, like nail polish, lipstick. I mean, typically guys don't usually have that. I know some do, but I see it as, as women stuff most of the time. Are you okay? Are you okay? You're like bleeding out. I think I drank too much last night. I never got to do special favor for you. What did you mean by special favor? I, I feel like I'm dying. I, I don't think it is, buddy. Oh. And then you become an annoying ghost. Sixteen one two one. 
So that actually represents uh, victim number 16 out of 21. I do love this song though. Cynthia did not deserve to die. I wish I could have saved her. <laughs> it's her computer password. <laughs> so she had a she had a carve it into her chest so she could remember. Ah, well, I survived the subway, so yes, I only died once. That is, that is really great. Like, geez, when I was playing Resident Evil 2 on um, PlayStation 1, the other, like, two streams ago, I did so many times, it was just not funny. Ooh. Man, what's that noise out there? Sounds sirens. It must be an ambulance or police. It, just take your time getting out of bed, dude. Come on. Let's, can we hurry a little bit? We're gonna miss the action outside. Just take your time. It's okay. Oh boy. All right, I finally have control. <laughs> There's an ambulance and a police car near the subway entrance. Is it Cynthia? I would guess it is. Do we see her getting taken out? I don't think we do. But I remember when I first played this, I thought it was really cool being able to see stuff happening in the real world while we were trapped in this, you know, hellish, dim hellish dimension. Because we really didn't get a good look at um, the real world of what was going on in the real world when we played the other Silent Hill games. So I did think this was pretty cool when uh, Silent Hill 4 came out. It was nice to see a normal version of a town, you know? Oof. Okay. Excuse me. and get that ambulance. Quit yapping and move her already. Damn. She's got numbers carved into her chest. I wonder if... You wonder if... What? What? Hmm. Okie dokie, I guess. I forget, did I read what this was before? I think I did. Spare. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's check on Eileen. How is she doing? She's just sitting on her bed. Eileen, I'm trapped in my apartment. Can you help me? Eileen, 
Where'd you get your Robbie doll? Did you get it at Lakeside Amusement Park? Because I really want one myself. I think Robbie's really cool. Uh, is she not going to come back? Okay. I'm not a fan of being a creep. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the hole. hole is getting bigger. That's not good. Well, I guess it's easier to move through now, but it's creepy that it's getting bigger. I'm just gonna skip that part because the whole flashing lights. Okay, so, um, give me about a minute. I have to uh, use the restroom, so one sec. Okay, I'm sorry. The dogs need to go out back, so give me another, like, a minute or two. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I'm really sorry about that. Okay. This writing, what does it mean? I can't read this writing. Okay. Well, that's not a good sound. That probably means there's some dogs around. Thanks, sorry. The dogs had to go out, out back and do their business too. Do not enter. Henry, can you pick that up, please? There we go. Don't... Don't let the hummingbirds, like, hurt you. Come on. Ah, uh, you really... I'm surprised at how much I forgot about this game. Really? Come on. They want his nectar, apparently. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Well, I better get through this because I don't want to die. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I made it. Is this the same, um, I think this is the same car as what James drove in Silent Hill 2. Stop with the brake pedal engaged. There are all sorts of things scattered on the seat. Among the trash is a scrap of paper with something written on it. It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. But whenever I come to a cool place like Silent Hill, I always get real thirsty. Jasper Geek. You know, when I write notes to myself, I love to to put my name at the bottom. Just so I, I know that I wrote it. There's a memo pad in there too. I'm not sure what that nosy guy meant when he said... His home is the orphanage in the middle. The lake is northwest, so the opposite is southeast. The nosy guy said one other thing I don't understand. If you bring the dug up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. Um, okay. But I think James's car was in a bit better condition. I don't remember it being rusted like this. Oh, I should check the trunk for a dead lady. Let's see. Maybe there's an item or something. And just still running. Okay. Nope. All right. Here's the owner of the car. Hi, Jasper. What's going on, buddy? So you, you came to investigate this, this stolen too. There, there was a, another guy here before, a, a, a real nosy guy. But, but I, I was the one, one who found this 
stone first. In the old days, maybe the natives called it Nakihona. They used an, a, a ceremony for, for talking with their dead ancestors. And now those, those guys are, are using the tool. Call, call it the mother stone. They're just uh, up, up ahead in that, that weird building. Some kind of crazy religious cult. They they used to c c collect orphans and, 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 and did things to them. Kind of gives you the chill, chills, huh? This stone. Well, I can't say I was looking for the stone, but. And now I have the feeling I should go collect it. Is that all you say? Um, it might be... I think I can get a better look a little bit later, but um, keep an eye on his shirt. Uh, because it's the incubus from Sanho One, so it's a nice little uh, Easter egg to that, to the god from Sanho One. Of course, there's dogs. Oh, there's like three of them. Great. Nope, I guess I can't run through. Let me back in. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I can sneak. I will get the hang of this hopefully soon. Because he wields his weapons a bit differently than all the other guys. I know hit the way he he um hits seems to be a lot looser. I felt it had more of a control with Heather and um Harry. Or at least a better idea about where my strike would be. I guess as I, as I go, I'll get used to it. Oh, are those babies? What is that? Can I get a closer look? That's creepy. Wow, I told this. Oh my god, there's like three of them. Okay, I can't- I can't do this. Get to the house, get to the house, get the house! Wish house! That's the orphanage run by the cult, huh? Oh, sorry, I- I fast forwarded through this. Let's get to the hole.
So if you guys couldn't tell, um, Henry, he lives in Ashfield, but the hole in his bathroom will take him to a variety of locations. And the current location we're at now, um, the forest, is the Wish House. And that's actually located in Silent Hill proper. There's actually some callbacks to Silent Hill 1 in, in some of the memos and whatnot. Oh, do I have a different phone? Oh, good night. Thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. You built a Lego model? Oh, oh, I have got to see that. Please take a picture and uh, tweet it at me. I would love to see your Lego model. Although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit is still alive. There are too many strange things happening in that town. I'm investigating two people, or maybe I should say just one. I've just about discovered what's going on. April 8th. Okay. Hi, Eileen. Help me! Help! Let me out of here! There's something going on in this room. What do you mean? I heard weird noises coming from inside there. Help! Hey, Richard, can you see anything from your window? No. Everything looks pretty normal to me. The guy who lives here, what's he like anyway? I know his name and face, but that's about it. Well, I'm gonna go call the super. Yeah, good idea. Damn it, they can't hear me. Oh. Oh, did you guys see that? There is an extra handprint down on the bottom right because Cynthia just died. But I don't know about you guys, but I never really took notice of my neighbors. <laughs> um, but I guess they're tight knit in this apartment complex. All right, let's go back to the wish house. Um, yeah, I'm only on the um, second part. All you've missed so far is me traveling to the subway and watching a character die. But it's the first of many, so you haven't missed too much. And also, I am going to be posting any, um, my video from tonight on my YouTube channel. So if you want to catch up, you can always rewatch there. Like, I mean, I knew, I knew, I guess, my neighbors, like, from across the way and whatnot, but... Yeah, I didn't really take no notice <laughs> if weird things were happening. But it could just be that I, w I just kind of kept to myself. Oh, do I, do I need that plate? Maybe I should... Yes, you will. Because <laughs> I finally got the chat to work. So it will record this time. Um... 
Wait. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back and drop off some items, cause... I don't think I need that plate. Just like Resident Evil, we have item management. So I kind of feel bad that I don't um, know this game as well as some of the other ones I... Uh, I've streamed. Oh, wait. I don't understand why the ammo can't stack. That's lame. So I'm kind of really doing this kind of blind. I mean, I know general stuff that I need to do, but again, it's been years since I've played, so I don't really remember mm, the particulars. Okay, let's try this again. So we've made it to the Wish House Orphanage. Oh, I can't read this yet. Is that something I can read when I visit the second time? I think it's that's that's the deal. Okay. Let's go inside. Oh, it's locked. Is that comic sans? Smile Support Society. Hmm. It was mentioned in Silent Hill 3 in an article you find in Brookhaven Hospital. In fact, it's written by uh, Joseph Scriver. Scriver. Um, he is actually the guy who owned Henry's apartment before Henry. And the opening scene is actually what we see of his apartment. So yeah, Wish House did have a, a mention. Oh, the hummingbirds. Luca Lake. I gotta say, Toluca Lake looked a lot better in Silent Hill 2. It looked a lot less pixelated. Someone carved some kind of weird writing. Scriber. Okay, yeah, that's it. I couldn't, I couldn't remember his last name. But yeah, it's pretty funny. I wonder if that was sort of on purpose by the um, team talent. The upper body is missing. Was it some kind of goddess or something? Hmm. Oh. Can't. Okay, I can't tell what it was.
So yay, we're in Silent Hill proper, guys. Woohoo! Coffin Bean Cellar? I did not know that. I will have to bring that up in the in the let's play. I <laughs> I never thought to actually look up the <laughs> meanings of names, but that's pretty cool. Like I knew um like Harry uh, it was Harold, and they took it from Olita, and, um, man, I can't think of it now, but there was some other stuff that they mentioned in the Lost Memories about names that they chose. Okay, wait a second. Oops. Mm, do I have to go back to... Talk to Jasper? No. Oh, there's a door right there. Okay. Oh, what is this? Is... Oh, it's his balls. A quick, a quick glance, I thought it was like a person in there. More like traitor, to be precise. Is it? Is it German? Is it German? Uh, his name. But I mean, that totally fits for its character. Considering he was the one that distributed the drugs and shit. Oh my gosh. And I know they chose uh, Garland for Lisa. From Judy Garland and the whole Wizard of Oz theme about being trapped in a different world. If, I remember, if I'm remembering correctly, I believe that was the reason they went with that name. What is that noise? Do I want to know what that noise was? Probably not. Sure, I'll take it. Oops. There we go. I think Silent Hill 4, um, it's not very fun to play for me at least, but I do like watching the story unfold. I kind of consider Silent Hill 4 and Silent Hill 3, I think they're probably the most difficult just because of the amount of enemies that will come at you at a certain time. Uh, Silent Hill 3 was pretty brutal, especially near the end. Um, and the whole environment would kind of work against you where you couldn't see shit because the walls were moving and it was too dark to see anything. Telling of Four is kind of similar, but it, at least the um, environment doesn't block your view of stuff. I guess the uh, hindrance with Silent Hill 4 would be your escort mission. You never use the golf club? Yeah. Yeah, it does have a difficulty spike halfway through. I think that was part of the reason why I was like, eh, about the game, too. Yes, that is the one good thing. You could tell a wall and a door apart. Because <laughs> Silent Hill 3, not so much. Especially in the hospital and the uh, church. That was so frustrating. 
I remember when I was recording for my charity stream in December, I got to a point in the hospital where my game started to slow down because there was too much shit going on in the environments with the moving walls and all the enemies. And I was like, why is my frame rate down to 20? <laughs> it was because of all the shit going on in the background. So, I don't think I ever really used a golf club either. Let's see if it's better than the uh, pipe. Okay. I guess I'll make my way back to the wish house. I don't think I can do anything else here. Well, okay, yeah. It, it was pretty much difficult the whole time. <laughs> it seemed like it was just throwing enemies at you nonstop. It was, it was pretty brutal. It was like a gauntlet the entire time. But at least it gave you the weapons to dispose of them. Yeah, it's kind of weird that, that you are missing the like two key items, the radio and the flashlight. But I guess technically you do get a radio, but it's in your apartment. That doesn't really do much, do much good here. Um, but they really kind of really changed things around with this... Ah! This entry into the series. Um, I remember after it came out, people were very upset. And it was considered to be the worst of the, uh, of the series. Okay, where's Jasper? I know he needs to open the door. Um... Do I have to go back to talk to him? Shit. Uh. Yeah, but this, this used to be considered the worst. And then people changed their minds. Oh, this is new. And it was considered the worst mainly because it was really different from what we had um, previously. A lot of people were not a fan of the limit, limited inventory, the first person view in the apartment. Um, the degradable weapons, unkillable ghosts, the repeating of levels. <laughs> Oh, ghosts. But now, suddenly, it's one of the best for a lot of people. Well, no, I mean, like, I shouldn't say for a lot of people, but a lot of people feel that this is the last great Silent Hill game. Hello. Hey, little boy. What are you doing here? Your finally the third revelation. Something's Look at the shirt. Gonna happen. Incubus. That nosy guy that was here. He said it too. Something big is gonna happen. Finally, it's gonna happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you seen a little girl? Short black hair, just turned seven last month. No? <laughs> well, I mean, I I think Sanha 4, I think it's a good entry. Um, it, I think the story is very well... It, not well told. I mean, it's very fun to watch, I should say. But I, I think playing, of, playing the game is kind of a Sure. Um, but I, I do like the connections it has to both Sun Hill 3 and 2. 
Even though... I guess Walter kind of changed between two and this game. Hello! As I said earlier, it's considered my personal favorite even though I'm aware the early games are technically better. I feel like this game's a good mix of psychological and cult, while Silent Hill had no cult and Silent Hill 3 was all cult. I would agree with you there. I think it's a good mix. I think what I like about it is it, 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 I mean, the cult's there, it's just sort of in the background, and you, you know it's there, but it, the, the focus is on another person who's outside of it, and, but he was influenced by the cult, and he's a crazy guy. But I kind of feel at some points, I feel like they kind of rushed this game a bit. Here has been dug here. On the bottom of the coffin are the numbers 11, 1, 21. Excuse me. So that is 11 out of 21. When I first played that, I didn't really um, catch that. But whenever you see a, a number, that one in the middle is supposed to be like a dash. I am all up for silly uh, Silent Hill memes and quotes. Go for it. And also, hello, Metal Gear Carbuncle. It's nice to see you again. But I do like how well this game holds up graphically. It's very, it's still very beautiful to look at. I really think that Silent Hill 4 and 3 are kind of like the pinnacle of graphics which is just kind of weird to say given that there were um later entries on next gen systems but honestly i i don't think they can compare to like two and three graphically because like sanho homecoming it had really great voice acting but the hair was it looked like gummy and stuff um downpour I did like how it looked, but I think the environments were better in these games. The stock sounds for enemies. Yeah. I, I'm still a little bit weirded out that the dogs sound like uh, cats, like big cats of some kind. Okay, do I need to go back to the main building. Should Jasper be there now? I know I have to give him the chocolate milk. Yay, okay, you're there. All right. The fridge is going to play a role now. I can't remember. Do people say that Ethan Hawke was the model for Henry, and Brad Pitt was for Walter. Am I remembering that wrong? Was Ethan Hawke another character? Oh, Ethan Hawke was Vincent. It was Vincent. Okay. I don't think, um, I don't think Henry was based on anybody. Like a, a celebrity. Chocolate milk is delicious. <laughs> I know. Dogs are just so rare. You can't find them. Very hard. I mean, if I had a recorded dog sound, I don't. I just don't know where I would do that. I mean, I only have two that is barking during my, my stream. You love the ghosts? Ugh. 
Oh man, the ghost has pissed me off just because I can't. You, you can't, you can't kill them. I know you get the sword of obedience, but what the game does, it's, it's so mean, is they don't give you enough swords for enough ghosts, so you have to go and pin them down for the level, and then before you leave, run back and go get your sword back. <laughs> it's very mean, mean Konami. Um, no, uh, I was talking about Vincent from the game. <laughs> It's based off Jacob from Twilight. I don't know about that. Jacob from Twilight was a buffer. Ugh, the movie was just why? Why did they make him a love interest in Claudia, his mother? It didn't make any sense. You know, I think Son All Four would make a pretty good movie. It's a really good, like, self-contained story. And I think people could really just pick up on it just from from here. I mean, you got a core story of this serial killer. You don't really need to explain the cult. Ugh, no, talk, talk, talk Jasper. The, 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 the door won't open. That nosy guy gave me something really good. But not for free. I'm really thirsty. I'm so, so thirsty. Oh, chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Well, I guess it's a good thing that Henry's also a fan of chocolate milk and he's uh, had a jug left over. Because, you know, when I'm thirsty, I want chocolate milk. I don't want water. I want chocolate oh, milk. Oh, man, that was awesome. Here, take this. There's something written on it. Thanks. You would make a, a Son of Four movie? I would totally watch it. I love Silent Hill fan films. It's... Uh, I love seeing what fans can do uh, with with their love of the series. Like, uh, making a film is something I can never do. So I'm always really impressed with um, the efforts other fans have made. Uh, what do I have to dig up? Do I have to dig up near the grave? Or... I think... I think it's a grave. So let's go over there. But yeah, I really think Silent Hill 4 would make a good movie. So wouldn't Silent Hill 2. Um, I was very in... I was very disappointed that they did not translate the first game into the first movie exactly. I, I really wanted to see the events of the first game in the first movie. But that couldn't happen. And if they couldn't do that, I wish they kind of went with Silent Hill 2 or 4. dig here or is it by a tree I can't remember <gasps> wait did I not pick up the shovel shit I assumed he picked it up Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, if they did make a movie of Silent Hill 2, I would love if they included the dog ending. Oh, apparently I have to pick up the shovel. Opposite where the lake and house meet, inside the hand holding onto the ground. Opposite where the lake and house meet. Okay. Um. I go over here. Oops. I th think it's down here then. Is it by a tree? Where did you guys come from? I. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not hate you because I love sh Shattered Memories as well. My, my Silent Hill site actually started as a Shattered Memories fan site. So you are not alone in your love for Shattered Memories. <laughs> a lot of people were uh, disappointed that, that it wasn't enough like the first game, but... I saw a lot of the first game in Shattered Memories. The puzzles were too easy. Yeah, they were kind of dumb, but I did like it. I mean, you essentially went through Silent Hill 1 in Shattered Memories. Okay, I don't... Hello, Mr. Ghost. It's not where I'm supposed to be. What victim is that floating around? I can't remember. Um, is that the guy who died in the pet store? Oh! Are these hands? There we go. I really did like the the psych aspect of Shattered Memories. I had a lot of fun trying to figure out what would trigger the different um, skins for the different characters. Like what you had to do to get to the bar, what you had to do to get the different Sybils, different Michelles. Yeah, I had a lot of I had a lot of fun um, going through it, and it was kind of a cool callback to have Kaufman be the Psychiatrist. Might have been the guy from next door, but he secretly was buying from Kaufman years ago. Oh, the times at the head of the wallet. <laughs> Frat buddies, yes. Okay, I got the key to the house. All right, we get to see Jesper catch, uh, put himself on fire. Why is it all mm, like this? All I gotta say is Jasper is hard hardcore to set himself on fire. That's something I could not do. Wait. Okay, I thought I was going... <gasps> Wait. Shit. Do I have to go through the hole and then drop the key off? I think that's what I need to do. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, um, got that. Okay, the hole, yes. Is Garland, I can't remember, is Garland supposed to be related to Lisa Garland? I know he owns the pet shop, right? You know, I mean, I, I'm probably not gonna, I'm not gonna finish this in this one uh, sit down. I should probably uh, go and read up on the victims and stuff so I can give you guys some cool information because I'm kind of going blind here. And I like when I can provide some sort of insight into what I'm playing. Oh, you know what? I should probably save it. But um, it's funny, um, Ralph, you were saying how this is your favorite. I've noticed a lot recently, more people have been saying like on Facebook and Twitter, I've seen a lot more people saying that this is their favorite Silent Hill, which is actually kind of refreshing because I'm kind of tired of hearing that Silent Hill 2 is everyone's favorite. Um, and I, I like seeing that this game has some love for it. It was sort of seen as like the uh, redheaded child, uh, stepchild of the uh, Silent Hill family. For years. Of course, I don't begrudge anyone for any Silent Hill game that they love. If someone tells me that they love Homecoming, okay, fine. Glad you love it. Book of Memory? Sure, I, I couldn't really get into that one myself, but... More power to ya. I also kind of remember uh, back when the first movie came out, uh, between 2006 and 7, 8, uh, yeah, Origins was, was out by that time. Uh, there was a lot of like elitism in terms of how did you get into the Silent Hill fandom. And I remember that people were really pissed off that people got into the games thanks to the first movie. And I always thought, like, that's so dumb. Like, who cares how they got into it? They're fans now. They're interested in the games. You know, if they got into it because of the movies, the comics, whatever. I think it's pretty cool. Silent Hill 3 is the best. I do like the costumes. I wish um, the other games had unlockable costumes as well. And I love the fact that we could play as Heather. I'm always for playing as a female protagonist. Surprise, surprise. Um, I really loved Silent Hill 3 as well. So I'm not going to unfollow you. <laughs> But I'm kind of used to people telling me that my, uh, what I like is wrong. So <laughs> by this point in my life, I'm like, whatever. I like what I like. I find something to like about all the games. Like, I'm not a big fan of, um, Book of Memories, but I do like some of the tracks that, uh, Daniel Lynch, uh, came up with on the soundtrack. I hate you so much. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, for those who don't know, um, oops. So the whole like Silent Hill being inspired by Centralia was, thank, I'm hitting the wrong button. What do I get? No, I want. Where's my key? Oh, there we go. Um, after the movie came out, 
because the movie took uh, inspiration from Centralia, Pennsylvania. For some reason, after that point, all these stupid videos and <laughs> trivia lists and whatnot would say that Sound Hill the game was based off of the events of what happened to Centralia with the whole mines burning underground and it drives me nuts. Drives me nuts because it's like, no! <laughs> No! Centralia was the inspiration for part of the movie. Uh, so Hill was not based on that. It was not based on a real town. If anything, the biggest influences were The Mist and Jacob Slaughter. At least according to Lost Memories. But yeah, if, if, you're, if your listicle or, or video has that little point in there I just dis disregard your video completely <laughs> I guess it's kind of elitist uh, of me but oh it's like it's like if you know if you're a Silent Hill fan you know that's not true <laughs> oh yes it's based on, I would take it's based on Kitty Grinning Cop over it's based off of Centralia Mm-hmm. There's so many authors for the street names. I didn't... Are you following me? Why are you following me, dude? What are you doing? Uh, I kind of didn't know. Hi, Rambro. It's going okay. I haven't gotten that far. I'm only on the second world at the moment. I've gotten lost a couple, a couple times already because it's been a while since I played this. And this game requires you to go back to your room at a random times to progress the story. I wonder what they did here. I, I don't know, Jasper. But will you tell me where you got your t-shirt? Because it's really cool, and I would like one. No? Okay. Yeah, the movie, um, besides being not the first game, I thought it was beautiful, and I really liked how um, Jeff D uh, Dana kind of put a little oomph into Akira's score. They worked together and made it more, I, I don't know what the word is, orchestral? I did like the use of music and I loved, loved their um, set designs and their monster uh, creature costumes. I thought that was great. And I did like how the movie it put in its own little things so when you rewatched it you kind of noticed the second time through for example the whole um rose's outfit changing colors throughout the entire film i didn't notice my first time through but when i rewatched it i was like oh my gosh <laughs> her outfit's going from this brown to white to bluish gray to red it was really cool to see it the second time through Um, and I, I really appreciated how much, I guess, practical, practical effects that were used in the first movie. It was really apparent when we watched the second movie <laughs> that he uh, made use of a lot of CGI. Um, it was a gorgeous film, the first film. I still consider it to be one of the best video game adaptations, even though technically it's not adapting the the story I still think it got the good the feeling of the games you know but oh man I remember I remember when it came out if you liked the movie people did not like you at least people in the fandom oh man fandom's so judgmental now that I think about it it's always been toxic and I've been a part of it since 99 think it's bad now Oof. Okay, I'm in the house. So...
Can I look at this stuff? Oh. No. Though I am a bit sad. I was really looking forward to a new Silent Hill game. The Silent Hills game from Kojima. Because I really thought that it would reinvigorate the fandom. And PT was so good. It was very heartbreaking. When, um... Okay, I'm not sure where I need to go. Do I need to leave? Is there something with the candle? Oh, wait. Can I do? No, it's locked. Hey, Jasper. Uh, I wonder what they okay, did here to Jimmy uh, listen to the teachers don't go outside the walls play nicely read the book ooh um shoot do I need to get a book from outside Yeah, the fandom was always an <laughs> eternal battlefield. No matter what time you joined, it seemed like there was something you were supposed to not like. And if you liked it, you were not uh, a true fan. <laughs> uh, it used to be like Silent Hill 4. You couldn't like that game. You couldn't like the movie. Now it's the Western games of any sort. Where am I supposed to go? <sighs> Wait, do I still? No. Yeah, PT was really good. Uh, for this is a short game, it had some really good creepy aspects to it. I'm pretty sad that, that it was taken down off of the PlayStation Store. Just because it was such a good, uh, good game to play. Uh, after Resident Evil 2 came out, I've seen a lot of people um, on Twitter saying that, oh, you know, Sun Hill 2 should be remade or whatnot. <laughs> I don't think I'd want Konami to do it right now because they seem to not really care about their games anymore. They're just more about making a quick buck. Really? People say that Resident Evil 4 should be the favorite? I thought that the thing to like now was uh, it was always Resident Evil 2 or Remake or whatnot. No, Resident Evil 4 was really fun for me. I never actually played Code Veronica <laughs> myself. I mean, I kind of know what happens in it. Maybe I should play that as a as a stream of some sort. I do have it on um, do I have it on GameCube or PlayStation 2. I gotta check. I think that'd be fun for me to go through. I'm sorry, I don't I don't need I don't know what I have to do to get Jasper to set himself on fire. Do 
Do I have to go back to the apartment? Why is this rock creepy? Being a, a lifetime Metal Gear Solid fan, I don't have much faith in Kojima anymore. The cancellation is a mess of shame. Sure, but maybe it's not a great loss. I don't know. Yeah, it, I don't know. Maybe it could have been could have been bad. Maybe it's better in our heads. Code Veronica is my Silent Hill 4 of Resident Evil. It's the black sheep of the franchise, but I think it's about... Really? I didn't realize it was the black uh, sheep of the Resident Evil series. Well, of course, I'm not, I'm not too um, heavily into the Resident Evil fandom, so... You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the black sheep of the series. I would have thought that Resident Evil Five or Six would have been would have been it. The word apartment triggers me. My friend lost her dad in one during a weird supernatural battle. Was he killed by Walter? Okay, I'm probably going the wrong way. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going now. Okay, I probably don't have to backtrack this far. Okay, so I have some locked doors. And the hummingbirds are killing me. Soft locking the game if you spent too much ammo is um I'm trying to remember is it where you got to the point where you're playing as Claire and then you got to Chris and if you took the ammo as Claire Chris didn't have any <laughs> am I remembering that correctly oh my goodness oh my let please let me get by guys Leave me alone. Oh. Am I supposed to take something from the apartment? Oh, shoot. I hate when I'm stuck. some light bottle. Okay, I don't need that.
my god, I'm almost two hours in. I'm not by the second stage. This is not boating well. <sighs> Are you gonna put a hole in your bathroom? Oh, that kind of reminds me. Um, I Was it Reddit? I saw, but someone made a diorama of the Sun Hill 4 bathroom for their significant other, and it was so cool. I think it was Reddit. I was very impressed. Okay, what do I need to do? Doors are locked. I don't have any other items. Okay, maybe I missed something in the building. Hey, Jasper. Where'd Jasper go? helping me, dude. <sighs> oh god, I can't believe I'm stuck already. house I don't have anything else the doors are locked what do I need to do well wow. okay it's falling apart and I can't even read most of the pages. Here's the part I can read. The second sign in God said, offer the blood of the ten sinners in the white oil. Be then released from the bonds of the flesh and gain the power of heaven. From the darkness and void bring forth gloom and Gird thyself with this despair for the giver of wisdom. A third sign. And God said, return to the source through the sin's temptation. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone in the formless chaos. Only then will the four an atonements be in alignment. Well, I just heard Jasper move, so... I think I triggered what needed to happen. He's burning himself. Yay! <laughs> I can move on. Dude, what are you doing that for? Like, don't even go and try to knock him to the ground, Harry. Harry, Henry. Sorry, I'm used to saying ha Harry. Ew, he's doing that to himself? Are you happy about that? I... I don't, I don't think that would be a fun thing to do to set yourself on fire. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. 
due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. Spooky. Well, I'm really sorry I went around in circles and I just had to read that stupid memo. Ugh. That's embarrassing. Anything new going on in the apartments? Ooh, that guy's watching something good on TV. Uh, no, Robbie Balloon. Ooh, you know what? I should try calling the bar. Five, five, five. Oops. Three, seven, five. Oh. Ew, it works. Yep. Okay. Well, that wasn't pleasant. Okay, let's go ahead and save. What is the next world? Uh, the water prison? I think it is. Hi. Hi, James's dad. This is the superintendent. <laughs> Are you in there, Henry? Help me! There's something wrong with this room! <laughs> Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? I mean, you're the super. You you should have a key to the apartment. I wonder if James and Mary lived in this apartment complex. Oh, there's another hand, if you guys can see. Oh, well, you better hurry. Well, he should. He's a superintendent. <laughs> Same one as back then. Someone pounding for their life? Okay. Wait, was there another note? Okay. So let's save. I think the next area is the prison, which my vague memories tells me was not very fun because it was confusing at one point. <laughs> but I will persevere. Wow, that hole has gotten significantly bigger. You could hear children's voices before. True, when is the game not confusing? <laughs> no, but it, I, was it the... I think it was the turning puzzle where you had to uh, turn the cells. I think I remember that being, uh, being kind of difficult to do again I'm kind of like a little bit out of my wheelhouse I usually try to know a game before I play it especially if I'm recording myself but I'm just sort of winging it right now with my vague memories I don't 
remember the apartment being that bad, but uh, yeah, no, I remember the water prison being bad. That in the mall, the, uh, the shopping center. I remember getting confused there at some point. But the shopping center sucked because I think there was like multiple ghosts. But this section of the game does contain my fa favorite enemy of the game, at least design-wise. I really love the look of the twin victims. They're so creepy when they when they point at you. I love it. Ooh. Also, that's really creepy seeing uh, something move. And block the light. Yeah, yeah, at the shopping center. Yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty confusing, especially because you had to backtrack a lot to get different items. Something's written. I'm sick of being watched. Oh, so I guess they hung themselves. Okay, why? Get me out. That's that's not helpful, Gus. Get me out. Okay, I will. I just gotta find the key. Get me out. Gus. There is a sloppily written note on the ground. Luckily, I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look ar around this. Okay, give me one second, you guys. I got to uh, figure out what the hell's going on. Okay, I don't know. It was the wind. Who knows? Okay, luckily I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around this building. The scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but next door in the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers. And it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Okay. Oh, Siren, yeah. You know, I actually, um, when it first came out, I bought it on PlayStation 2 because I knew that the guy who wrote Sound Hill 1 wrote Siren. So I was really into playing it, but then I, uh, started it and i was like this is a terrible game <laughs> and excuse me i ended up returning it and i heard from a 
graffiti. It looks like a kid's writing. I'm being watched from the middle room. Okay. Um, I heard from a friend of mine that it was kind of bullshit. At one point, like, they couldn't get a part, buy a part where there was this shoe or something that they needed to get. And I'm kind of glad I returned it. But I heard that the... Was it, I don't know if it was a remake or a remaster, was a little bit more forgiving. Okay, I think. Yeah, but uh, being watched rather than played, like Deadly Premonition. Okay. Yeah, I, I heard it's not very forgiving with, with the puzzles. You need to do stuff in the exact way order at the right time or you're gonna get stuck stuck oh shit let me let me do that again sorry I hit the oh no wait how do I no Uh, I think this is the note. To get this to the surveillance rooms in the middle of the complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cells. Ugh. However, on the first and second floors, these cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. So you have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. Also, the lights only work on the third floor. Um. Okay, what, what floor am I on? No. It doesn't s- oh. Doesn't say. Um, all right. Just locked. That's for hitting me, dude. I really do not like this, these wall monsters. Do they stay dead or do they pop back out? I should try playing through Siren. Maybe I can get a copy, a PS2 copy, and I could I could play it. Maybe give it another chance. I forgot about this. Can't dispose of this. No, I have to be able to you can dispose of stuff, can't you? Super great, great friend did. Oh, I should probably watch that. I love his let's plays. He's so good. Okay, I just went into a circle. Is there? Okay, let's go downstairs.
Oh man, this sucks. I want to go back to dispose of my item. <laughs> but I think you're probably right. Another reason why I was not a fan of playing this. What is that? Yes, I'll take the St. Medallion. Ooh, my inventory is like used up. I should probably go back to the apartment and drop off some stuff. <laughs> Henry will not litter. Yes. He cares for the environment. Okay, let's go back. And let's drop some stuff off in the apartment. So I have some free um, spots in my inventory. Yeah, <laughs> I remember when I first played through this, I pretty much took care of every haunting as soon as it popped up, just so my um my 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 room would be would be safe. Do I have my first haunting already? I can't remember if it's a haunting. Okay, let's put that away. I don't know if I'm really going to use my gun. Well, it's not hurting me, so I think it's okay. Alrighty. Oh, a note. The scrap of red paper stuck in here. Lately, I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write it down. What I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. Well, that's me. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which 10 people were killed in 10 days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but the one common thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their deaths carved into them. Okay, the name of their killer, it was carved in as well. His name was Walter Sullivan. Oh, you did? <laughs> did you let Eileen get super messed up, too? Where she started talking, like, in tongues and stuff? I think one of my favorite hauntings was when, like, the shoes would walk away. Um, wasn't there one with the cat? I'll give him a save one more time. Like the windows hurt you at one point.
Okay, so where do I need to go? I guess I'll... Were these locked? Why do I always think I can run by? I cannot run by. Well, I got by this guy because he knocked me in the direction. I think these... These enemies suck. circle. Where did the twin- when did the twin victims show up? I could have sworn they were like right away, but I guess not. Third floor cells turn this water wheel. Remember that the water must flow in the direction of the water wheel. Of course, you also have to open the sluice gate on the roof. Okay. It's a key. Yes. Okay. That was a really a lot of writing for what I see right here, which is three lines of text. Okay. Oh, I hate these hummingbird things. Leave me alone. Okay, so I need to go to the roof. Yeah, they are a hindrance and not a scare. Wow, I'm tiny. Okay. So I guess I will go back to the roof. Wait, I didn't really... Oh, I have the key, so I could probably open that door now. Stupid bird thingy. Wow, I'm like completely missing it. Oh, never mind. I should be able to outrun you. What the hell? I have great oh, I really admire the people who are able to speedrun this game. <laughs> it sounds like it's very frustrating. Just because you can't seem to run by a lot of the enemies, you get hurt. I'm going in a circle. Like it punishes you for running away, you know? Oh, good night. Thank you for stopping by for so long.
it seems longer because I don't know where to go. <laughs> Thanks again for uh, coming by to watch. Should I just have gone up the ladder because... Wow. Ew. Okay, this this is new. There's something written on paper. It still looks like a kid's writing. I peed in my pants. I gotta wash them so nobody finds out. Oh, I just saw a shadow. I think someone saw me. Don't worry, it's just Gus barking. On your own playthroughs? Oh, yeah, I, it is padded. I mean, given that you replay these levels. I should probably look up what the um, playtime is. Because I know generally, Sano games usually run about six to eight hours. What are these things on the... It, the bottle's filled with black powder. Hmm. <gasps> Who's stepping in front of the light? It's a diary. I've been watching the surveillance room's people the whole time and sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see his shadow move or hear his footsteps. Okay. Oh, definitely, yeah. Shed Memories, I think, is probably the fastest one of the bunch. No, I want it. Can I not over... There we go. It's so gross that when you when you step on them, that white stuff comes out too. Ugh. Okay, I didn't go through this door. I keep hitting my select button. That is not the map. Okay. Well, let's um. You know, maybe I should just go up the ladder. You guys freaking suck.
He does? I didn't know he attacked monsters. I thought he just attacked me. It's a diary. We had beef stew yesterday in the cafeteria. I heard that there is a death chamber behind the kitchen and they take meat straight from dead people and cook it. That really scared me. Ew. I hope that's just a rumor because that's gross. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. Um, it, it, is that one not added to my, my, okay. Oh, yay! Finally! Wait, but I I don't want to see you now because I'm dying. Why don't they ever make this as a figure? I love a twin vic uh, victim. You know, we can only have so many pyramid heads and. Oh, that's the hole I need to jump down. Oh, I get hitting select. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is like a super big guy. Well. I don't need the bullets that bad. Now it looks like I'm sleeping. Huh? Were those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Hi. We're both missing each other. There's two holes. Uh, okay, well, I should go to the top. Um, there's a door down there. Okay. Because it said I had to go to the roof to get the water running. I believe that they, um, there is a mannequin figure, like a, um, a garage kit that's available. And if you got the Comic-Con version of the Gecko Red Pyramid head, he is holding a mannequin. So, there's that at least. 
No, I don't know how easily you can get your hands on those now. But yeah, I wish I wish like there was more variety in the types of monsters that, that there were um more available uh, figures for. Like, I really want a, uh, a closer one. A closer monster. I think that'd make a cool Figma figure. Okay. Uh, did... Oh, there's water there now. So can I... Okay, I'll just go all the way down then and check. I can't remember. I know I get to the center portion by jumping down the holes, but... Hmm. I should probably go in here and save just in case. But we are, um, in terms of, of uh, figures, Gecko is coming out with um, another pyramid head with a spear, a spear. And then I believe their second figure is... Is it the hanging no flesh lip flesh lip monster i wish they'd move on to a different game i'm i'm tired of silent hill 2 monsters because really uh i mean the monster designs were cool and all but i i'd like some things from other other games Yeah, I do have, um, I do, uh, for 3D printing, um, I forgot the name of the site I got it from, but someone made a 3D printed version of the fetus baby from PT, <laughs> so I bought that. It was a, a, a colored version, too. That's really the only 3D printer, printer version of a figure I have. Though I have seen some nurses on the Yahoo Japan auctions and a couple on eBay, I think from the same seller that they 3D printed, I think from Homecoming. Um, but I'm surprised no one's made like some of the other monsters. Pop Funko. I've seen some fan made ones. Um, I think it'd be a pretty cool license for, for them to do, but I don't know, given how Konami is right now. But you know me, I I, I, I would like anything Silent Hill. If there was pop figures, I would get it. If there was um, Nendroids, I would get them. Okay, so I guess I should go downstairs uh, let me check that first and if not I guess I'll just jump down the holes and see where that takes me but you know what I really want from the Sanho like figures and stuff I wish they would make the protagonists I want the protagonists you know I don't the monsters are cool but I I want like a Harry. I want <laughs> I want a James. I, I want those types of figures. That's going up, so I guess I have to go through here. You know what I thought was really cute was the um Let me kill that guy. Uh, the stuffed animal liquor that was at one of those conventions. I, 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 I remember CJ got one of them from one of the cons he went to, uh, like E3 or something. 
thought those were cute. Heather is awesome. I love her comments on what she's seeing because it was very realistic. I really like Heather and Murphy because of, the, of their reactions to Silent Hill. It's like Henry, Harry, uh, they're too blasé. Well, James is blasé too. Um, but Heather and Murphy were re reacted, I think, realistically like, what the fuck is going on? So, so that's turning. Did I have to do anything else down here? Okay, I guess I have to jump down the holes. Let's turn the lights on on the third floor cells. Turn the water on the rear. Miss Suski on the roof. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? They are very, very noisy this evening. They are quiet pretty much all day. Of course, when I start streaming, they they want to yell. show up at this level or is it in just when I am with Eileen? This water prison, it's supposed to be in Silent Hill, correct? Okay, it is halfway through, okay. Couldn't remember. I just remember him chasing me down, um, around the outside of the water prison and I couldn't remember if it was now or later. All right, let's be like James, jump in the hole. Um, you're penalized if you left Eileen alone too long and there was monsters in the room. You had to clear the rooms that she was in. Uh, 
because then she'd get like too hurt. Wait, did I just go? Oh man, I think I went down the wrong, went down the wrong one. Okay, go back up. Okay, just so I remember, it was on the left side. Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait, isn't that a door? Oh, wow, Whitney. Okay, this is the door. Let's try the one on the right. <laughs> Kaboli told later and you remember he killed his wife. Yes. <laughs> sound effect too when you jump the hole <sighs> wait I'm being watched from the middle room wait I thought I had to go Okay, what hole am I supposed to jump down? Okay, that's locked. Oh, I didn't try those holes on the third floor. Okay. Off the map. You're not going to say anything about these books? Okay. So I mentioned there's a really good promo video. Um, I believe it was the um, trailer, or the, like an E3 trailer or whatever. It was really good. I think it... <laughs> It made the game look so awesome. You know what? Give me give me a second. I can uh, put it in the chat. Let's see. YouTube.
Oh, this is 11 minutes. I think this is the one. It might be that one. I, I didn't watch it, but it's pretty long, so I think it might that might have been the one. But they were they did a really good job marketing. Oh my oh jeez. I did not expect that. Look, can we be friends? Can I just shake- Oh, there's two of you! I'm in a new place. Have I seen? Yes, I have. I've, I've seen that. Uh, it's based on a Stephen King short story. I did see it. And when I was watching it, all I could think of was the room. <laughs> I saw it in the theaters, too. This place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside, but the less they know about that, the better. Uh, the doors don't open, then they... Oh my goodness. I can't open the doors, but from this room, I can watch them get more and more immense emancipated each day. With no food and never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there. Following the suggestion of an engineer, we've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with the body in it vertically. P.S. Chief, I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms with bloody beds. One is on the first floor, one is on the second floor, and one is on the third floor. If you line these room, sorry, if you line those three rooms up, then it's bingo. <laughs> Wow, you sound like a horrible person enjoying watching little kids die from starvation. Okay, so I have to line up the bloody rooms on each of the floors. Okay. So... Oops. Uh, let's go up. <clears throat> to keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The lights on the third floor were originally bought as searchlights. As a precaution against a blackout, they were set up to run on a private generator. There's a hydroelectric generator in the basement to light up the first and second floors use the corpse disposal chutes since each floor of the since each floor of this building can be rotated you can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes repeating this periodically is an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well behaved P.S. Chief, if you turn the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can't rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors 
with the first floor cell that has a bloodstained bed. By the way, if you use the people in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Also, please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so I have to line it up to the first floor. So let's go down and see where it is. Wait, did I go down too far? There's nothing here. Okay, this is the first floor, so we need to line up. Okay. Okay, this is the first floor, so I need to find the bloody bed. Nope. Nope. Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, this is the whole room. Okay, so do I have to go to the top and then turn stuff? Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Bed was bottom left. So, where is it here? So I need to move it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, turn left. Okay, that's a bloody bed. Um, shoot. Okay, I'm just gonna keep turning it left. One more. Wait, 
Perfect. That's the bloody one, right? I thought it was... Okay, do I turn it left again? You know, it sounds easy in theory, but... Okay, I think that's in the right spot. Let me double check. Right. Bottom. believe that's the one okay so okay, I think the second floor is right spot. The secret number for getting through the door in the back of the kitchen is this month, is 0302. Thanks for your cooperation. Okay. Okay, where is the bloody... Okay, there you are. Okay, so turn it left. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, or I could just do right. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, it's too left. Wait. Did I already have it in the right spot? Oh, I guess it's in the right spot now. Okay, happy days.
is a foreigner. And who are you? His name's Walter. <sighs> Walter Sullivan. I used to work at the orphanage watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They try to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. That kid, Walter. And he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. Scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know about you, Henry, but I would be asking a lot more questions at this point. Like, what's going on? What is this whole uh, Descend of the Holy Mother shit? Why are you so convinced that someone's going to kill you? Uh, okay, so I guess I have to jump through the holes now, right? Um, no, that's the wrong door. He did ask, like, who's the kid and who are you? But I, I thought he'd continue asking questions. <laughs> and he didn't. Maybe, maybe he is, you know, afraid to leave his house. Oh, I can't remember. What's the, um... What's the condition in Japan when... The the people refuse to leave their their homes, they are their rooms. Maybe he has that. Hiki, is that it? I don't know if that's that's it. Yuki Mori, that's it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yuki Mori, yeah. Maybe he suffers from that. Ooh, I wonder if this is a, a commentary about that. I don't know, it could be. <laughs> Someone should make a theory video about this. <laughs> is the room a social commentary on Yuki Mori? Honestly, given the amount of pressure that's on kids there to do so well in school, uh, I can see why they don't want to leave their room. Okay, so I need to... Do I have to go all the way to the top? Third floor, and then I jump down, I think.
So I don't think if I if I ever leave my room, I don't think that would be a very um. I don't think my parents would put up with that. They'd be like, "What the fuck? What's wrong with you? Why aren't you going to work?" Uh, is this the yeah? So, one, two. Oh no, I have to, um, I have to drive in. My commute's like an hour, hour and a half usually, daily, which is why I don't really, uh, work on my, my videos <laughs> until the weekend. <laughs> Because my commute is so dang long. And unfortunately, California is so dang expensive, I had to move back in with my parents. Because I couldn't afford the rent. Wait, what the hell? What happened? I thought... Did I not? <sighs> Is that one? Hold on. So there's only the one hole I can get through. Huh. Okay, so I need to get to this side, to the right side. So, but I can't move the first floor. Ooh, but I can jump down. Well, those doors are locked, so maybe if I turn it, I turn the third floor so I can jump down to the second and then to the first. Okay. So, let's go. Oh, I hate this puzzle so much. <sighs> so... Yeah, I like my I, I like my family, so it's not a, it's not like a hardship or anything. Plus, like, it's cheaper. <laughs> I mean, I do pay I do pay them rent, so I put money towards the mortgage and stuff. Um, it's just unfortunate that it's gotten so expensive here in California. Uh, and I don't see the problem with living with their folks. I know a lot of my friends do because again, the money issue. And I think it's silly to look down upon that. And I know in a lot of cultures, it's it's pretty much normal. <laughs> I think as long as you have a job and you're contributing to the household and whatnot, it shouldn't matter. I mean, I'd rather live with my parents than some random stranger, so. 
I'm cool with that. Okay, so I... Wait. Shit. I have to go from the bottom up to turn the shit. Okay. I got all confused. Go down. Sorry guys, I forgot I had to go from the bottom to turn the style. How did I think I had to go from the top? Nope. I just remember that dumb story. Where was that guy from? The guy who was suing his parents for kicking him out of the house. I thought that was pretty <laughs> that was pretty pathetic. Like he wasn't contributing oh, I went the wrong way. In any way to the household. And then he sued his parents for kicking him out of the house. Like And he lost his case. Which is like, yeah. It says I gotta say my I think my dog's happier because my mom's retired now so <laughs> he is company while I'm at work with her dog Gus and whatnot and not just by himself uh wait oh I have to go the shower room. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm taking so long to get through this. Oh, I feel like I should have, I should have got my guide out or something. Okay, what was I going to do? I was going to move the hole on the third floor down one, two. Okay, so up. You know what? I will turn this one just in case. So I got to turn this to left once. That should do it. It doesn't look like it's... There we go, okay. Alright, let's, um... Let's try, uh, going down the holes again. 
Oh, that's why my, my, my phone buzzed. Okay, I'm excited to see them. <laughs> Let's see. Eileen portrait. You put up my Twitter. Oh, that's nice. That Eileen portrait's really pretty. Oh, <laughs> the Lego is cool too. I like it. Okay. Um, here, I'm going to post it in the chat for people to see. That is so cool. Here we go. If you guys want to check it out. Okay. Mm. Oops. I need to see the chat window. There we go. I honestly didn't think the water person would take me this long. <laughs> Hopefully I did the right thing. It's a good thing I started at 7 <laughs> instead of my usual 9 o'clock. I know, right? It's so cool. what would be really cool to put um, as Lego for Silent Hill like uh, something in Silent Hill 1 that would be really cool to see in Lego I guess I wouldn't mind like a florist or something like that but that's an object not really a place No, I want to go outside. Why am I not outside? Nope, that's the wrong door. Oh my god, I keep going in the wrong door. Okay, cross the way. Finally. Speaking of Legos, I actually put together my first Lego uh, bit. Uh, I uh, my my mom got me a, a pork Lego, and I put that together on my birthday. The only problem was it was missing a piece, so I couldn't finish it. So I had I had to contact Lego and be like, "Hey, you know my 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 box is missing a piece." And they're like, okay, we're gonna send you the you we're gonna send you the piece that you need. A month goes by, I do not get the piece I need. So I have to contact them again, and they send out another piece right away, and I got it. But then today I got the original piece that they sent out. I don't know what happened. I guess it got delayed in the mail. But now I have like three pieces. So that, that that was my fir first real experience with building something with Lego. Armed with a jacket, beating Henry armed with an axe. Well, yes, he'd, he'd probably do that. Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? I guess I go through the other hole? Oh 
I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> no. Okay. I'll jump down the other hole. You know, I didn't realize how um, expensive Legos were until I was looking at the price of some sets. I'm like, wow, they're they're quite a bit of money. 50, 60, uh, over $100 for some. This is... Ah! Yay, I'm somewhere new. Okay. Wait, can I read the... Oh, I think those are just trays. I wonder what the, the, the symbolism is for the mushroom things. The fungus that grows. I went to the wrong door. I wanted to unlock the other door. Whoa, you grow you grew back. First Lego set was the Chamber of Secrets from Harry Potter. <laughs> How long did it take you to put it together? Thank you for the follow, good day, Ink. Okay, where am I? In the kitchen. Yes. Okay. I think Oh, I got to do the light shit. Okay. Um Where am I? So I need to move the holes. Okay, I'm on that part on the top portion. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I can see the I can see the plate. Why can't you, Henry?
Okay, so I need to move. But wait, the, that the first floor doesn't move. How am I supposed to get the light? Mm. I know, right? Where is... <laughs> so I guess move... The light... Wait, I gotta reread the note because... It's on the third floor, originally bought as searchlights. They were set up to run on a private unit, blah, blah, blah. To light up the first and second floors, use the corpse disposal chutes. Am I matching up the holes? Being this pure, I mean. Can't wait to Okay, so I know... The thing is over by that door, so... I can't move the first floor. I guess I just have to move the second floor and the third floor? That spot then? Maybe that will do the trick. Right. right now. So I need to move it left twice. One, two. Move it again. I don't get it because that's not going to light up that area. Whatever. Okay. Move the third floor. Okay, let's hope that's lit now. I just walked into that. What? What? I, uh, what? How do I move the light if the first floor doesn't move? floor. No, it's a roof. Okay. 
Well, let's go back. Well, because I lined it up to... I lined it up to the hole that was here. But, I mean, there's no hole in that. Uh... Okay, you know what? I will just... I'll just turn it until <laughs> the other two are in the spot it's supposed to be in, and maybe that will... Because I, I was basing it off of what the first floor hole was. floor. Okay, so... So I guess let's move this one more time to the left. Okay, and move the top one. So move this two times to the left. Okay, so now the hole's dark, dark. <sighs> I'm definitely a hardcore fan. Um, yes, I, I really do love the Silent Hill series. Though I don't know Silent Hill 4 that well. <laughs> <sighs> You stay dead, you stupid fungi. This isn't lit. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I don't know. Floor too many times. So move it back one. Okay, I'll try that. so dumb that I'm stuck on this stupid puzzle. <laughs> oh. I guess. What's up? Can you go out back? 
Okay, I think I have to let them out. Okay, so I will be right back, you guys. I have to let the dogs out. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Ugh. All right. So I moved this one too much, so one back to the right. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, wait, so turn to the right once. I don't remember it taking this long. Okay. So, holes down there. But see, what I don't... What I don't get is that there's... There's no holes and there's top portions where the door is. So I don't see how the light's going to get there. No, I'll check it. See if I did it correctly. This doesn't look lit to me. <laughs> what? 
I'm sure it's something really simple and I'm just not seeing it. Okay. I know I need that door lit, but the first floor thing doesn't move. I had it lined up with the first floor hole before and that still didn't work. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm... I'm not supposed to do something with the roof, am I? No, it's the third floor. So, you know what? I'm just going to line it with the first floor again. Maybe I didn't have it lined up. Okay, hold on. So, let me just take a look at this. Okay, so... Okay, so move the second floor down another one. Oh my god, why is this so hard? Yeah, I feel the same way, guys. You know, I could save myself heartache and just get my guide, but at this point, it's like I've been doing so well this on my own. I want to see if I can do it. I mean, in theory, it's so simple. Okay, line up the holes, but I think I'm missing something. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so move this down one to the right. <laughs> yes, this is a two sawmill experience. Getting frustrated at puzzles that are. And I guess move the third floor down. One more. Because I could have sworn I had this. This is my first configuration and it did not light up that room. Hey, what's up? Okay. Dark. Dark. I know, he's probably like, wow, Henry is failing so badly. Maybe he should not be the witness. <laughs> Maybe I should pick someone else. Would that be the way to save yourself? It's just be too dumb. <laughs> too dumb to witness his, his serial killing. Because that would be me. Okay, so now this is lit up. Honestly, I am going to... Whitney needs to receive some wisdom because Whitney is failing. <laughs> Whitney's losing her Sam Hill cred. <laughs> this is not lit. Oh my god. <laughs> I am about to look this up. I'm tired of... Okay, we are going to look this up. <sighs> Hello, IGN. Please tell me what I need to do to...
Oh! Head up ladders all the way to the third floor and go through the four o'clock door, jump through the hole, grab the stub stun gun. Oh, that's optional. Uh, turn the valve right four times. Okay, can you just give me the what the position is? Because I can't do it from here. Okay, I don't need this stun gun solution. Do you think I should pick up the stun gun? Okay. Turn. Turn left or right four times. Therefore, turn right twice. No, I. I can you show me what that is on the map? Because telling me this after I've turned it multiple times does not help me. <sighs> Oh, wait. Do I have the pipes and lines so the water can reach the generator on the bottom floor? No. No, I turned it so it, the water is going down. Nope. Okay, I had them aligned. Uh, yeah, apparently you can move the, the holes and there be a, a room with the stun gun. I mean, at this point, maybe I should just go ahead and get it. So the puzzle, you have to align the... So what I was doing is right. I think maybe I didn't do the the water portion on the roof correct or something cuz yeah so let me let me find the instructions for the mm. I just had the... Where where'd my page go? I'm sorry, guys. I was trying to... Puzzle. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty. We're, we are going to go ahead and get the sun gun. So, on the third floor, let's see, stun gun's there, so third floor, turn it, okay. 
So I think my problem is I didn't do something on the roof correctly. I was lining it up correctly. So stun guns, the two on the top. Hell no, I'm not going to give that away <laughs> over my dead body. Okay, so turn left. at the right spot. Let me double check. Okay, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so go to the third floor. York. And there's two on the top. See if I'm matching this. What? Then I have to turn it one more time. This picture is not very good. Okay. Um, I started, well, I guess my collection really started in 2004, so since then, but I didn't really seriously start collecting, I guess, until 2010-ish, maybe? So I guess 10 years. Mm -hmm, make sure. Okay. I'm going to beat this part before I go to bed because this is pissing me off. <laughs> so let's get the stun gun. No.
want to see a stun gun. Oh, is it in... I'm getting really annoyed. Okay. Why do they say the stun gun is in that room if it's locked? How late it is, guys. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Oh, I was looking at it wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Back downstairs. in the hallway. What, York? I'm trying to get the stun gun. this puzzle so freaking much. I'm a relatively new fan of Silent Hill. My first Silent Hill anything was a movie that I saw in 2015 and I knew I had to play the game. Started with two, then three, then four, then one. Have you, um, you played all the other ones or no? Okay, so I can't move that one. Okay, so I need to check.
That doesn't look right. What the? Sorry guys, I'm trying to match a picture I'm seeing for the submachine gun and I'm not getting it. Oh, is this it? I think this is it. Okay. Let's get the stunt gun now. I think I'm right. Oops. Oops. I move this over. I can't see the chance. On the gun, all the games as last Christmas when I got Origins. What did you get Origins for? Uh, PSP or or PS2? Stun gun better be worth it. Uh, 
Man, this puzzle is... You know what? I'm super tired. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stop for now. And come back to this with... Fresh, fresh eyes. Because I am not getting this. I wanted to get through this level before I finished, but... So I'm going to go ahead and save my game and then I'll pick this up. Probably I could probably do this tomorrow. Um, not at 7, more likely at 9. So I'm going to save my game. Ugh. Can't believe how stuck I got. I mean, I'm even looking at a freaking picture of where I have to put the holes and it's still not lining up correctly. Okay, well, thank you everybody for um, watching. Hey, and there's no, I, Ralph, there's no harm in uh, having the HD collection be your first one, I'm sure you probably didn't notice all the problems, you know, most most people did, since you didn't know what you were missing. Um, but yeah, uh, Silent Hill 2 and 3 for PS2 or PS3 is definitely better in my opinion, but no harm in seeing through the HD collection. So I will, um... I think I'll pick this up again tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Get through this fucking level. <laughs> and uh, get some sleep. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm sorry I got lost. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> so uh, I'll talk to you guys all again real soon. So thanks again. Bye!